In this particular video, we're going to dig really, really, really deep into the RFRA calcium rearrangement reaction, also known as the 3 to 3 sigmatropic rearrangement. And this 3 to 3 sigmatropic reagent is due to the formation of a new sigma bond, which is what we have over here from our loss of an old sigma bond, which is what we have over here. Now, let's look at, first of all, the first rule we need to understand in here. We need to understand the notation or the numbering system that is relative from the old bond to the new bond. Our old bond here has a 1, 2, 3 here, while the other side there is a 1, 2, 3 over there. So this is actually a sigma tropic process where these are old sigma bond here which both ends having a number one system, we have a new bond of a sigma which is both numbering a three to three positioning, which is what we have over there, which is what re like reflects in here. Now, this rearrangement is happening due to the chair like transition state. Now you need to take note of that because really important for you to see the chair transition state happening in here that leads to the formation of our sigma bond as a result of the orbital overlap and now we're going to also focus on the MOs that is actually required for we to get from here to there. So let's just jump in and just draw it in the right way. So we have this with our oxygen, then that, that and that. Now take note that this is actually the double bond here and this is our double bond here. This is a 1, 2, 3 which I'm going to write over here. And here is a 1, 2, 3. This is the focus of the bond breakage and this is the focus of our bond formation. Now let's do our orbital overlap and see which ones are actually important in here. Take note that there are four pi electrons present in here and we just have two sigma electrons that are involved in here. Now this is the two sigma bonds here, two sigma electrons and this is our four pi electrons, one, two, three, four. Now the four pi electrons is crucial in terms of determining our whole move. Now let's just draw only two molecular orbital scenarios. We have the lowest energy where all the orbitals here are in phase with respect to each other. Shaded, 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 shaded. And next over here is the one with one node which is at the center over here. Since we have six carbons here, which is what we have here, we have all six atoms in here. We have one, two, six, three, four, five, six. Now the same thing applies here and there. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. Take note that while those here are in phase, these here are out of phase and this here since we have four electrons then we can actually distribute them in here and this is how a homo with just one node this is actually the determining molecular orbital arrangement that is going to be translated into this particular structure over here so if I do it the same way here, the oxygen MO here and we have the other one here. If you're doing the shading, this will be in phase with respect to that and uh, with respect to this oxygen here. However, this is out of phase with respect to that, which is what we have here, there and there. Now since this is our pi system here this is our sigma 
system over here and this is here our pi so this one here is actually the old bond that will be be broken and this particular region here which is 3 to 3 will be our new bond that is going to be formed in there now let's draw our transition state now our transition state shows that our oxygen which bonded to this particle carbon and the other carbon over there we have another partial bond in here which reveals the breakage of our bond while the electrons are actually delocalized in here and electrons are delocalized in here and there we have the formation of our bond in this particular part over there so while this reflects the new bond that is being formed this here represents the old bond that is about to be broken now this uh, transition state which is actually a chair confirmation which reveals that this particular transition state will lead to the formation of our product which somehow represents the chair confirmation of our transition state leads to the formation of our product over there so that is about it for this particular video i hope you all are able to understand how we are going from the airmos to the transition state that exhibits the chair transition and also reflects on our product and also how the numbering system aids in actually determining where your breaking up bond which is a one one notation to the three three positioning over there which is what we have as our result in the presence of heat all the same thanks for following me through this I truly appreciate it hit the like share and subscribe be smart and see you all on my next video